I'm getting ready to fix these turnouts. And I had just cut them off of the previous layout. Now they're kind of jacked up. And these are very expensive, as you know. So we have our tools of the trade here. This is my soldering box with all the little doohickeys. Dremels, I got a couple Dremels that I use. And pin vices. And I have two of these carts that I keep a bunch of stuff on, wiring and all that sort of thing. But today's project is to try to get these turnouts cleaned up and get them on the layout. We're missing this rail here, but I'm not gonna add that in now. I'm just gonna get rid of these snip-offs. Now this is crappy waste solder, but I use it for deconstruction. All right, so we had a fail here in trying to remove enough solder to get this piece of rail off. So I'm, I'm just gonna have to cut it. And the reason I have so much solder in there is because in O scale, you can get away with things more than you can in a smaller scale. And I found that when I add enough material in there, solder, I'm able to file it down and it actually looks like a fish plate. The, the transition is smoother from rail to rail. And if you don't know what a fish plate is, just Google it, you'll, you'll figure it out. It's to tie the two rails together. So we're gonna have to cut them off. And away we go. I do a lot of cutting. Look at the difference in size. Always wear your glasses. Now we gotta clean all this up anyway. So I'm gonna remove these ties here so I have a nice clean edge to work with. And again, this will be part of the rail coming in from the other track once we do it. So that's that's not a big deal. On this side, I think I just yanked up on this or something happened. Maybe I bumped the, the table, but I can get that back in square or if we need to use a piece of basswood, we can do that. So I'm just cutting the tie underneath here just to give it a nice clean edge. So once we get the file on this and we'll clean it up, make it look nice. Again, where this rail is gonna come in here, I'm gonna have a couple of wooden ties that I can secure the rail to. It's a shame I screwed that up and didn't do the right thing to begin with, but it is what it is. All right, so this one wasn't so bad. Just slip that off. All right, and there's the carnage. So let's go and get them lined up. All right, so now we have them cleaned up a bit and they're ready to go in place. So we'll get them all lined up in the proper spots and we'll double check and make sure we're not fouling anything underneath. We'll drill our hole for our switch machine wire that'll end up going through there. In place. All right, I've moved the cart to the back. I have the turnouts lined up in their respective spots. These turnouts are soldered together, so their relation to one another will stay the same. And I have since cut out the scrap paper, and I can start drawing lines and get all the paper up. Drill the holes for the turnout throws. So I have these cross lines here so I know where to look for that hole because when I pull it up, there's going to be a bunch of holes from the pins. Check it out and make sure we're where we're supposed to be. And that's why I put those pins there so I'm able to get it in exactly the right spot. We can come back with white glue later and put it in certain spots if we need it. We have one switch installed. Notice I said switch, turnout, switch. On the real railroad, we didn't call it turnout, we called it switch. 
but for model railroad's sake, it's a turnout. As you know, we're using these pre-owned by me turnouts and they've been torn up a little bit. So they're missing some ties. There's some rough edges and stuff in there. And here's the size of a tie, but I'm not cutting this and filing it down and doing all that. We're going to make some ties. There's the comparison size wise, and that should work out perfect. Let's test one out. And we can cut it as needed. See, there's a modeling idea. Now, if those were stained, they would look like a pile of ties sitting on the side of the tracks. But there's the ties in place. And I know that's a crappy solder joint. I will fix that. But I just wanted to get this set of three together, glued down, holes drilled, and ready to go. And I'm filming with my phone, and the phone just rang, and it was a customer calling in an order. So I want to give a shout out to that customer. Randall, thanks for watching the videos. We appreciate it. All right, all the turnouts are in place. It's time to lay some straight track. Get the main line in, siding. So really, I'm just gonna lay down some construction adhesive. I've run my flex track. That's kind of ridiculous to film that because it's not brain surgery.